It was the 1980s Academy Award winning hit Now an Officer and a Gentleman is being turned into a musical. The world premiere is set for Sydney in May next year and we sent Laura Francis for the first look. Hello sailors. Who doesn't love a man in uniform? And it's hard to go past Richard Gere in the 1982 hit, An Officer and a Gentleman. Would you like to get a drink? Well, this Navy tale is back. And this time, you can sing along. What better place to launch the world premiere than aboard the HMAS Sydney? Let's go. Sydney beat London and New York to the world premiere of An Officer and a Gentleman, the musical. I think Sydney is finally getting its mojo back, yeah. uh, and that's good for all of us who enjoy musical theatre, but it's also good for the state's economy generally. We can't yet reveal who will star in this show, but he's going to have to fit the uniform of Douglas Day Stewart, the real-life Richard Gere. Well, I lived this story almost completely as a naval officer candidate uh, in my youth. And uh, I experienced the, almost every aspect of this story, this very, very grueling um, school, this drill instructor that wanted to kill me. I got nowhere else to go! And this uh, girl that wanted to marry me and escape her dead-end life. So I went ahead and wrote that into that movie. The writer says it was an honor to have this Hollywood giant play him. What was it like working with him on the role? You know, it was so collaborative. We had dinner together every night and we kind of <laughs> talked to each other about how we could improve everything and how we could keep it from sliding if it was sliding. And, uh, you know, he was just a very collaborative, very creative guy. And he hopes to work with him again soon. Well, you know, my, my dream is to ultimately get him in the role of the fa his father in the musical, but I haven't broached that with him yet. But, have that conversation. but I am going to bring him to that, uh, hopefully to our premiere here and ask him to do that then. So if you've ever wanted to be swept away by Richard Gere, this musical is probably your best bet. But if he isn't cast, don't worry. There are a few other good options around. <laughs> so we're looking for people who can recreate that chemistry, uh, do unbelievable physical feats. That's the other thing they actually do have to do, the training routines that in the film they probably just kind of faked a bit and they have to be able to sing, so it's a, it is a tough call. He's from the street, and our actor who portrays him has to, we have to believe that this guy is from the street. And the songs are kind of more pop rock. They're not straight legit. We couldn't hire someone with one of those gorgeous voices. We need someone with grit. No doubt we'll be singing along when this 80s hit makes a comeback. Remember this song? Love lives somewhere we belong. It's incorporated into the show. It comes at a dramatic point at the very end of the show. And it's very important, but there's a whole 17 other sh songs involved. And with a brand new musical score, it'll be hard not to get carried away. Far from the world below, where the clear winds blow. Ah, good songs, good fun.